So today I'm going to show you how you can create an e-commerce website promoting affiliate products using Spread Simple. Okay, now I used this website on a previous video where I showed you how you can create a website for CPA offers. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can actually use Spread Simple for affiliate products. And you can create stunning websites like this one over here where you have the image, you have the product, you have the product description, and you have the details buttons. Okay, so this is going to be a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and turn on notifications. So before you start designing your website, you want to know the products that you want to promote. Okay, you want to have the products in mind that you are going to promote. Okay, so you're going to have to pick a niche. Now you can work with any niche, so whatever niche that you favor, whatever niche or whatever category that you prefer promoting, you can easily do it with this strategy. So I'm going to be promoting products from the beauty category, okay, from ClickBank. Now again, this is going to work from any network. It doesn't have to be ClickBank. I say that because many of you are having problems signing with ClickBank. There are affiliate networks like Digital24, more niche, and tons of others on Google that are not as strict as ClickBank, okay? so. Once you've signed up to your affiliate network, like in ClickBank for this example, again, this is the beauty category. So the different uh, categories here under the beauty category, there are subcategories under the beauty category. So we have Kera Essentials. So I'm just going to open this one here in a new tab. And then we also have this one here. This is the uh, Meta Nail Complex. All right, I'm also going to open this one in a new tab. We have the Divine Locks. I'm also going to open this one in a new tab. So basically just opening different products. Okay, we have that. And then we have also this. Okay, so I'm just going to leave them at four for now. So let's look at the products that we've just opened. So this is the Kera Essentials. These special oils fight fungus resistance and support healthy nails and skin. Okay, so this is the keyword. Nails and skin. It's a, it's a product for nails and skin. Okay, let's open the next product. This one is Meta Nail. So this one is also for nails. Okay, it's specifically for nails. Let's have a look at the third product. Um, so this one says, an amazing hair secret discovered by a heartbroken mother boosts your hair growth. Okay, so this one is for hair. Okay, hair growth. And lastly, let's have a look at this one. This one is also for hair. Okay, revitalize your hair. Let's have a look at the last product. So this one was uh, five easy tips and tricks that will help you achieve a normal skin balance. Okay, so this one is for skin. So now that we have these products in mind, we are going to create a spreadsheet. Okay, we're going to create a spreadsheet where we are going to list all these products. Okay, so you're going to open Google Docs. Okay, you're going to uh, head over to docs.google.com. And the way that you can also find it, just head over to Google, click on these dots over here, the apps, scroll down, and click on Google Sheets. Okay, you'll find it there. All right, so now once you've opened Google Sheets, if you've never used Google Sheets before, you're going to have a blank page over here. So you might have the plus, this plus over here right in the middle. So you're basically just going to create a spreadsheet. Okay, so click on create a new spreadsheet. All right. And then you're going to give it a title. Okay, you can just call it uh, anything. Remember, it's based on your category. So I'm just going to call mine uh, like maybe beauty, beauty spot. And then here we'll have uh, this first line over here. We'll have our column which will have the product, price, description, and link, all right? So product, price, description, link, and then you're also going to place an image. So we're going to play, I'm going to have field for image, all right? So I know this might not make sense now, but you're going to see exactly, if you didn't see my previous video, you're going to see exactly how this is going to make sense. So I'm going to uh, bold this front row. Okay, just to differentiate it from now the rest of the fields. So now, our first product, okay, we're going to have our first product. Let's come back to ClickBank. Our first product was this one here, the Kera Essentials, okay? So uh, I don't know if I can copy it from here. Okay, that's an image. Let me just go back to ClickBank, copy the name of the product from here, okay? So I'll just copy Kera Essentials, copy that, come back here, and then paste it, okay? But first, since it has a link, I'm going to first paste it on a notepad, okay? So open a notepad, okay? And then paste paste it there. And then I'm just going to copy Kera Essentials. And then now paste it there, okay? So now for the price, for the price, let's come to the, to the website itself. So they usually have the price down somewhere 
here okay so this one has three different tiers they have the 30 day supply 180 day supply and 90 day supply so if it has like three tiers just go for the lowest okay just go for the lowest price which is a 49 dollar bottle okay this one over here so let's come back over here to our spreadsheet so 49 dollars okay description come again back to the website okay the description is just at the top over here so we can just copy the whole of this this are special oils fight fungus resistance and support healthy nails and skin okay you can go on and copy also this they also have more details over here okay, so i'm just going to keep this short i'm going to copy that come back to our spreadsheet now let me first open the notepad okay just like that now copy all of it and then come back to our spreadsheet and paste it there okay let me make this longer like that all right now we're going to get our link this is going to be our affiliate link Let's come back to clickbank click on promote okay just like that click on create hope link okay so it says here we need to apply for approval all right i've never promoted this product before that's why it's telling me this so it's going to take a while before they they, they they give us the approval so what i'm just going to do i'm just going to use the website link as an example okay remember to use the correct affiliate link i'm just going to use this as an example come back to our spreadsheet and then paste our link over there okay just like that and then now for the image image has a bit of a process all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to first list uh, the rest of the products and then i'm later going to show you how to get the images okay the links to the images all right guys so i am done i've entered all the products their prices their description and their links okay so this is just six you can actually enter as many as you want all right so now we are going to place their images okay this is going to be the links to their images okay so they're going to be links just like this and the website that we're going to be using is imageur.com okay some of you might be familiar with this one it's a popular uh, online image storage website if i've put it correctly so you can actually have your images stored over here online so you can use the links to those images to wherever you want okay so we're going to go to the first product okay which was this one here we're going to download this image see if it's uh some of them are not really savable so i think this one is all right so it's been downloaded let's have a look if it's okay so it's actually there let's go to our second product the meta nail save image you can save okay let's see if it's actually saved all right let's go to the next product um okay so we're actually just saving the the the, the product itself okay the bottle so we'll just look for the bottle so this one should be somewhere down somewhere okay here it is but i've seen a bigger image a bigger separate image which is this one here okay i'm going to save this all right okay let's go to the next one okay the folly fort save image all right okay one more this one should also be down here this one didn't really have a big image or a separate image so i'm not really sure how this is going to come out uh, let me see so it saved it correctly all right so now we have all our images saved so what we're going to do we're going to come back to this website all right you're going to click on new post okay so you don't really have to sign up just click on new post drag your images over here okay so i'm going to drag the first one all right so it's just as simple as that once you have dragged your image it's automatically been saved so to get the link just right click and click on copy image address okay then now we can come back to our spreadsheet and then paste the link right there okay so we're going to repeat the same process for the rest uh, click on add image okay drag our second image there all right right click copy image address come back to our spreadsheet paste it there come back over here add new image drag our third image copy image address come back over here to our spreadsheet okay so this didn't seem to this didn't seem to copy well let me see copy image address okay i'm going to undo that paste it there okay come back again over here add image 
a fourth image all right copy image address paste it there uh keep making this mistake so let me do it once again copy image address i think you should give it a couple of seconds uh, for it to completely save on this website so maybe that's the reason so i'm going to paste the link there okay one more image all right okay this one was actually small but that's fine copy image address now i can close these and come back to our spreadsheet all right now we are completely done with our spreadsheet what you're going to do now is click on share all right and then you're going to click on general access you're going to click on this drop down click on anyone with the link all right so now what we're going to do once we have done that we are going to head over to spread simple okay so spread simple is where the magic happens you're going to be able to come up with those amazing websites so just go to spreadsimple.com and then you're going to click on dashboard okay if you already have an account with spread simple it's just going to ask you for a dashboard if you've never used spread simple before it's going to ask you to sign up all right so once you've done either of those it's going to take you over here okay this is where you're going to be able to now create your website you can use any of these templates as you can see they have really amazing looking templates that you can use i actually recommend just using the templates it's much easier so for the free version they don't really have a lot of templates they have like i think there's about uh, 10 templates which are all good you can actually use any of them because they cater to any genre any design and most websites have these kinds of design most modern websites look like this so the template that i want to use for this video was this one here okay the oculus products so you can actually view it from here but i'm just going to click on use template all right so from here you can actually now customize the entire website with the fields that we've just created from our spreadsheet so what you're going to do first you're going to click on this change source sheet okay click on that and then here is where you're going to paste the link okay you're going to paste the link from your spreadsheet so let's come back to our spreadsheet click on copy link all right come back over here and then paste our link there and click on submit all right now as you can see our website is now populating with our products our product images so we're going to put the rest of the fields so to do that just scroll down over here so we have items list and the items list we have title so click on this drop down over here you're going to select these are all your fields okay so we're going to select the first field which is a product all right now as you can see the product names appear over here so next we have subtitle and our subtitle is going to be our price it's going to be our next field there we go we have our prices and then next we have our tags or rather our text so this is going to be the description okay and it's actually automatically uh, selected all right so you don't even need to uh, select it but in case it's not selected make sure to select your description okay now as you can see we have everything here the way we want our product image product name product price and product description okay next you're going to scroll down over here and then you have the primary uh, button settings click on details and what you want to do here really is just to change uh, you can change the text if you want here's the label of the text which is the details so you can change it to whatever you want you can change maybe buy now you can say something like buy now click here you know things like that but i'm just going to leave it like this as details and then now i can change the color okay we can change the color as well so you have this over here if you want to change it to a different color you know, maybe blue okay you have blue there maybe you want something like red you can have red there all right so i'm just going to leave it like that so now you're pretty much done with your products okay now i recommend you get high quality images as you can see this last one here we didn't really get a good product be keen on the type of product that you're promoting make sure it has a good image okay so otherwise the other ones look good so now what we're going to do next is to change our uh, banner over here so in order to do that we're going to click on design over here and then here you have appearance okay you have your theme so there are two themes actually you can only change from here so you have the gray theme or the white theme which is this one here okay i think it's just white not really gray and then you have uh, the dark theme okay so if you click on that everything goes darkish or grayish but it's a darker color that you can actually get if you click on this you have white background color so you can make it even much darker okay so it just depends on how you really want to uh, have it look like so let me just try something different and have it look like this 
So now next we have our header and I don't really need to change these ones. They don't really have an effect. Uh, your header is basically just this top section over here. If you want to add some text, you can enable that. Okay, as you can see, it gives you some space. So if you want to add some text over here, you can do that. Okay, you also have uh, things like compact menu, uh, header background. So these are things that you can also play around with. They don't really matter, but you can just go ahead and test them out. You can also add a logo. So if you if you have a logo, if you wish to add a logo, you can also do that from here. And the next you have your footer. So again, footer here is the one at the bottom over here. Okay, it's going to add another space similar to the header where you can add some text. All right. Now, home page intro is this section over here. They call it actually home page intro. Okay, so you can select that and then scroll down over here. As you can see, you have your cover image, okay, which is this one over here. So you can replace it by uploading a different image. So in order to do that, you can select this upload over here. Now they have their own images, okay? They have their own copyright free images that you can use. So it depends on the category that you are in, the niche that you are in. They have nature, they have work, business, office, architecture, fashion. So, okay, so this one this one's going to suit my category. So I'm going to select this. And as you can see, they have different images over here, fashion related images. Let me go with this one here. Now let's change the text over here. The text is actually this one here. I'm just going to give it the name that I gave our spreadsheet, which is beauty spot. And then you have your subtitle over here. Now you can delete this if you want. For me, I'm just going to delete it. Or maybe I can say something like, your one stop shop for your beauty products okay but i'm just going to just going to leave it blank and then now we're pretty much done okay we are done with our website as you can see we have everything done we have our, our banner here our image we have the title of our website the name of our website we have our product images product name pricing description and the link button so now what's remaining is to publish so click on actually you can save it first so let's save it all right, and then now we can click on publish. And then now we're going to change the name, okay? We're going to change the name of our website. So let's see if uh, Beauty Spot is available. Yeah, it's actually available. So now this is actually the length of your website, okay? It's going to include dot spread dot name, all right? So once you're done with that, click on save. All right, so now our website is published. You can actually open it from here. So this is our website, okay? Really, really good looking beauty website. So we have our products over here and then they have the links. Okay, these are the links to the product. Okay, this was supposed to be our affiliate links. Now, if they click on this, it's going to redirect them to the website. Okay, as you can see, that is how it works. Same thing with the rest. All right. So this is how you can easily create, you know, affiliate websites. So if you have multiple products that you want to promote, this is how you can do it. And actually, I think this is the best way that you can do it by simply using spreadsheets, okay, Google spreadsheets. You create the product, price, description, link, and image fields, and then you name the products and the prices and description for each of those products. You come over to Spread Simple. You create your website from here. You can select different themes, as you had seen earlier, to create a stunning website just like this. Now, if you're someone looking for a job, looking for a remote online job that you can work from anywhere in the world, you can head over to my website, robertokello.com, and then you hover over jobs, click on apply for remote jobs, now hiring, and you're going to find a list of full-time remote jobs that you can apply from anywhere. Now, most of these jobs don't require a degree, and they have jobs like virtual assistance, data entry, customer service, programming, and other fields as well. So you can try your luck and apply for a job from these companies. All right, guys, so that's going to do it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.